Hello, welcome back. Now, if you've missed this week's competition so far, here's how you can try to win £20,000 and some outdoor furniture as well. To be in with a chance of winning £20,000, a deluxe easy-to-use gas barbecue, garden furniture and accessories, all courtesy of BP Gaslight, just answer this correctly. A keen gardener is said to have green, is it A, fingers, B, toes or C, knees. To enter, call 090 49 59 6000. Calls cost £1 from BT landlines, other networks may be higher and calls from mobiles considerably more. Or text A, B or C to 64499. Text costs £1 and one standard network rate message. Or enter at gm.tv. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at midday this Friday. Entries made after closing time won't be counted but may still be charged. Competition terms and conditions plus winner are at gm.tv slash terms. Now then, my next guest, probably best known for playing the evil guy of Gisborne and Robin Hood and, of course, MI5 spy Lucas North in Spooks. He's continuing the all-action theme for his latest project. It's a gritty hostage drama based on Chris Ryan's book, Strike Back. I am hearing about a number of lucrative opportunities in Iraq. You know, private security contractors. I was thinking of something closer to home. Look, John, I mean no disrespect, but all of our recruits have academic qualifications. <laughs> I may have some driving work, office security. Two of my best mates died for you, and others crippled for life. Well, Richard's here now. I'll tell you, it's, it's on Sky tomorrow, isn't it? It starts is, tomorrow. Yes. The, we've seen loads and loads and loads of trails for it. They're really, really bigging it up. They've put a lot into this, haven't they? Yeah. It's, um, Sky are really trying to break into a, a sort of new area of drama, and I think mm. that they've put a lot of money, and you see that money on the screen, and, and they're being aired as, as uh, movies, two episodes back to back. I was going to say, when I watched it, it was very was cinematic. It? Yeah. You know, it really was, and that's very high production values, obviously, yeah. which must be brilliant for all of you you're part of it. It's great and we went to South Africa to shoot oh, it so you see very much the landscape mm. and why we went there and it looks epic so it's really exciting. So tell me about John Porter, this same um, sort of hero type but flawed. Yeah he's a, an SAS soldier who makes the decision not to kill a suicide bomber during a hostage situation and that that decision has a catastrophic effect on his life and he loses his uh, his job, his wife and his children and he goes on a on a, um, a journey of redemption. How many parts is this going to be? And do you see him being somebody who you could play again and again and again? Is there mileage in this guy? Yes, uh, it's six episodes which are shot as three uh, double stories, aired right. back to back, three movies. Mm. Um, yeah, and he, he gets his redemption. He, he gets to go back and, and, and rescue a hostage, Katie Dartmouth, who's a Sky News journalist who's mm. also uh, uh, taken as a, in a, by the Iraqi um, militia. Um, you see him kind of come back to life right. and you see him go on that journey and find out what really happened to the suicide bomber. So, but there is there's a lot of mileage here for this mm. character, I think. Do you like him? Yeah, he's a great man. I, I, I wanted to make him somebody that I really aspired to be and give him qualities that, that I would want, you know, if I were a, a better person. And, and, you know, so I, I put him up on a pinnacle. But he's also flawed, you know. He, he's very aware of his own limitations. He's, he's disconnected from his emotions when he's in battle, but then he tries to come back home and become a civilian and he can't fit himself back together. So that was oh, fascinating for really me. Really interesting, really yeah. good to play as yeah. well. Um, lots of action, obviously. Yeah. Do, you, do you love all that? Do you, did you have to train really hard? I did. I, I worked with a trainer in the UK, in South Africa. We had three SAS um, soldiers that worked with us the whole time that we shot. So and what did they think of your attempts? Were they all right? Um, I think there was a lot of raised eyebrows at the beginning. <laughs> I mean, I'm a big gangly six foot two bloke, and when you're trying to sort of move with a weapon, and uh, yeah. you do look a bit silly sometimes, but they're there to sort of, you know, pick you up and make sure that you do it do And did, it you well. enjoy, did you enjoy that aspect of it? Because... Yeah, getting that detail yeah. right is really exciting for me because, you know, the best audience is, is, is an army bloke that will sit down and watch this and go, yep, that's, that's right. But, that's I mean, of course it's want. fiction and you've got to sort of, of make it look good for camera. But, uh, exactly, I find that but exciting. you want it to be true as yeah. well, don't you? You yeah. want it to be true because you kind of owe people like that. You do. You, you do owe you do. them. You're telling you... their story, so exactly. you've got to be so, so it has to be like that. Now, as if that's not enough, uh, filming Spooks as well, is that right? Yeah. The next well, series? We're halfway through series nine. That has been phenomenally successful, hasn't yeah. it? Is what I like about it is it's an it's intelligent drama, you know. Yeah. It's good and it's um, exciting and it's the edge of your seat and all of that. But you can't not you, you can't go away and make a cup of tea. You have to actually yeah. be there. Not that you'd want to, but you actually have to be there and, and you do have to think 
a lot, and that's good. It demands a lot from its audience. Yeah, it demands a lot from its actors. <laughs> well, I have to say, I'm sure yeah, it I mean, does. It, keep, it keeps evolving, and I think because the political landscape landscape is constantly changing, it's. Uh, I mean, this year we we bring in um, a lot of the new regime in America, we, China. Mm. Um, and uh, Russia working together, um, and it's, this this season is all about identity, who who these characters really are. And Lucas yeah. is not who you thought he was. Ooh. He's not who I thought he was either. Really, which is really interesting. Well, that must be, when you were going through this, the script, did you go? Oh! I did. Yeah, we sat down and had a meeting about it, and I went, what? What, what are you talking about? So wow. yeah, it's it's going to be. It's all about peeling back layers and finding out who these people really are. Big twist. Yeah, big, big twist. twist. You don't always play people like that though, because people remember you with huge affection from the Vicar of Dibley yeah. as the as the as the totty. Basically, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't think of another way to pitch <laughs> it. To be honest, yeah, I mean that was a different p kind of role for me. I really enjoyed it. I mean, we spent the whole shoot doing Vicar of Dibley, you know, in fits I of laughter. So it was a real relief for me. And hopefully this year I'm going to get back on stage and do some comedy. Fantastic, excellent. Yeah, yeah. so it's spent too long being serious, don't yes. I? Really? Yes, yes, yes. Well, look, we look for it. Richard, great to see you. We'll Thank obviously you very be watching much. Tomorrow's Sky. It sounds absolutely fantastic. And Spooks, I'm very intrigued by that. Thank you. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very, very, very much indeed. So, yeah, so you're you're going to be going on stage. That's the, the yeah, next Yeah, hopefully. Thing. Fantastic. Thank you. Great to see you. Right, that's all for today. Do make sure that you're watching tomorrow and you have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you, guys. Bye.